Okay? But I grew up in a place where fear was everywhere. You cannot understand it unless you've lived it. Triple checking that all the doors and windows are locked. Waking up in the night at every sound. Listening as you hear your neighbors scream as they are being burgled and beaten and wondering if your home will be next. Good morning, my name is Harrison Wamnishu. If you have a daughter, you know, in this school, call her and you know hold her ears that school things are happening in that school a lot of things are happening in that school and the school authority are not doing enough to see how they can manage it and the what's happening they cover it up all right this girl went for lecture and um she never returned back the next day what they saw was this guy has been brutally murdered guess what my mom is not at home right now they are looking for the dead body of my cousin as we speak right now if i sit down here today and tell you do you know that nigeria has happened to me today i'm i'm acting strong because i have to be strong my cousin was lynched to death do you know what happened to my community People from other parts of Nigeria, if I talk now, there are people who come and say, you are hating, you are hating, came to my village, a poor community like mine, where people could barely assess education. Like, I'm a very content person. I'm easily pleased. I'm so Ghanaian, but a lot of you do not know. All right. So, hi welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking that is if you are a returning subscriber if you're new hi my name is lilian and i hope you like this video and if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscription button when you subscribe ensure you turn on the bell notification put it on that last one that says all that way is the only way you get notified anytime i upload a video go live or make a post all right. Originally, the intention I had for this video is to make it an all positive shout out. Let me just say a shout out video to Nigerians that have really been fighting hard for the good of Nigeria. Nigerians that have risked their lives to do things that are not regular. Back home in my country, there's this saying, if you know if you beat them, you join them. So I wanted to just celebrate nigerians that are beating them i don't know if you get that that are not joining them but then youtube has a way of introducing videos to somebody especially to me at the right time i will say at the right time this can only be the work of the universe wanting me to take a look at that thing at that time so i bombed into this video on the front page of youtube i think we should take a look at that before we get to those that i want to celebrate in this video i hope you have liked this video already yeah but i grew up in a place where fear was everywhere you cannot understand it unless you've lived it triple checking that all the doors and windows are locked waking up in the night at every sound listening as you hear your neighbors scream as they are being burgled and beaten and wondering if your home will be next when you've experienced that kind of fear you're not worried about being attacked on twitter <laughs> so wait who is this woman and which country is she describing like this yes let me tell you who she is she is formerly a uh, former minister under the previous uh, the past uh, uh british uh, government the con consecutive government she was a minister she is from a nigerian descent her parents came from nigeria uh, from nigeria and she was born in england according to her but she went back to nigeria to go and stay there for some time before she went back to england and she's talking about her experience in nigeria and then the way and manner she's talking about nigeria is as safe even People who were living under the Taliban rule when the Americans invaded uh, Afghanistan, they wouldn't describe Afghanistan like this. Honestly, 
the way and manner she's talking about Nigeria, like she's speaking about Nigeria as if like an animal junk, like a place that like human beings don't cannot even exist because like they are just eating each other's raw. What has people attacking you on social media, on t uh, Twitter, on X, got to do with you belittling Nigeria like this? You think you are doing this to Nigeria, the country Nigeria, you are doing it to yourself. Somebody need to talk to this sister. You are doing it to yourself because there is no way you're going to be accepted by the English people. You have, you want to lead the conservative party. Be decent, madam. No matter, no matter where you come from, as long as you are a black man, you are, an, you are just a first generation um, African born in uh, England. Even David, uh, David Lamin, who, who ancestors were taken away from Africa 400 years ago by the British uh, Empire to the Caribbeans who end up in Britain, he still, the English people still doesn't see him to be English. Listen to what they will tell him and then at least learn from that, madam. You keep saying that you are um, African. Anyways, that is the part that is important for this video so from his accent i could sense that he is not nigerian and i was right he's Ghanaian. so because i went on to check for his other videos on the channel i realized he's my brother from ghana and i said okay no wonder and of course he's one of those africans that has issues with the western world with the western countries with whatever the western uh, the western ideas and all of that how they invaded their own tradition i get it i get it bro keep up the good work okay good luck on that but then why i'm making this video is i'm going to be very polite because you're not nigerian you are Ghanaian and i live in ghana so i understand where you are coming from you will never understand how it feels when you are not in somebody's position it takes the grace of god for you to understand the pain or joy of another person in a situation you have never been in i'm going to use this opportunity to explain it and it's not the only one i saw comment or some of my recent videos where i showcase the foreigners that came into ghana and all that they have to say about ghana and i could see some one saying i'm ghanaian but i don't like the fact that you always do negative videos about nigeria just focus on doing the positive about ghana and stop talking about nigeria in a negative manner because no country is perfect thank you very much you're so nice bro oh you are nice oh i want you to kneel down and thank your god that you're not nigerian yeah you have you don't know what it feels like to be nigerian and you should tango because bro you can't take it you can't survive it i'm sorry with no disrespect man with all due respect you cannot survive it do you know what it means do you think that i don't love my country or i'm coming here to speak up ill of my country so that Ghanaians will accept me i see that all the time no matter what you do they're not gonna accept you i know i will never be accepted in ghana and i made a video i don't know if this is the one that will come following the one i made talking about seeking asylum in ghana it didn't sit down well with some Ghanaians. how can you seek asylum in ghana <laughs> Canadians are dealing with their issues. You people should go to your country and deal with your issues. The asylum part of that video was a joke. Okay. All right. I will never, by the grace of God, seek asylum in Ghana. For many reasons, I don't need to seek that to live here. As long as I abide by the rules and regulations, I follow all the immigration rules of the country. I obey the law of the land. I don't need to seek asylum to live here at the labor market, uh, at the Ghanaian labor market that will, I was okay, okay, ah, I need that to get, no, I don't. I'm okay with what you guys are giving to me, the support you're giving to me on my YouTube channel. I'm a very content person. I'm easily pleased. I'm so Ghanaian, but a lot of you do not know. I'm easily content and I live one day at a time. 
So for those of you judging me without knowing where I'm coming from, I think you should calm down. Okay, the asylum issue is a joke and my videos are not at any point. I mean, I'm not targeting at getting the Ghanaian papers to be here. All right. I can be here. This is also my home for God's sake. God wants me to be here and I'm here. I don't have any issues, but sometimes these comments, eh, they make me feel bad for you. are misrepresenting the real Ghanaian out here who would smile and give you a helping hand, who would never leave you stranded, who would never say no to you when you seek for help if they have it that consoles you when you are crying hold on i'm targeting at something and that thing is for those judging me and judging nigerians for speaking up about their pain bro let's take a look at this video like i earlier stated in the beginning of this video i wanted to just celebrate nigerians because it's not like i can't see that we have incredible nigerians that already have you know they have they have sold their lives they have given their lives for the good of nigeria i i can see them i know them and it feels like okay all the time i'm focusing on the negatives what about these people so this video is targeted was rather targeted at celebrating them but this came up and i felt like okay let's do this at once for those who do not understand what it means being nigerian and coming out here to speak may you never understand yeah i think before we even get to the main video all of these ladies displayed on good evening my name is harrison Guamnishu. i received this distress message from a follower who sent it via whatsapp and uh, he wrote my name is Callistus. i have a sister of mine that was killed she visited a guy whom they skilled together in madonna university she went to his house in lube in abuja here and that was the end of her we need help in this fight please we need justice for priscilla so 24 year old priscilla left her house to visit you know her male friend and um that was end of her nobody knows what happened all right now the young man has been arrested by the police and he told the police that priscilla had an accident this is the man this was when Priscilla liked Instagram uh, post. This is Priscilla. And this is Priscilla's dead body. The young man was arrested by the police, detained. No autopsy was connoted on Priscilla's body. And the young man is now working freely. They have released him from custody. They've released him from police custody. This incident happened in Lugwe in Abuja. No autopsy was carried out. Nobody knows the cause of death. What happened to Priscilla? The young man said his accident. He could not provide the vehicle Priscilla uh, was in when the accident occurred, or even on or even a motorcycle. All right. So currently, nothing has been done Priscilla's dead body is at the mortuary and this young man is working freely i'm reaching out to the authority with this uh, with using this platform i believe so much that with your contact with your post with your reshare you can assist this family in ensuring that justice now, is served now that is one let's take a look at this <laughs> good morning my name is harrison Guamnishu. if you have a daughter you know in this school call her and you know hold her ears that school things are happening in that school a lot of things are happening in that school and the school authority are not doing enough to see how they can manage it and the ones happening they cover it up all right this girl went for lecture and um she yeah now listen to this one okay i beg you guys listen to this one for everyone 
who believes I derive joy in talking ill of my country, please watch this one. He never returned back. The next day, what he saw was. A score has, has been removed from my head. Again, I went for a lecture. This is not the first case we are getting from that UN in that school. A lot is happening in that school. A whole lot is happening in that school. All right. And I told you guys how I traveled to the school. I traveled to, to UNA when a girl was kidnapped. A girl they called on the phone to come and take away B. Not just a girl, too. A guy, a boy has also been kidnapped from that same school. A whole lot is going on in that school. If you have a, if you have a daughter from, in, that in that school, both male or female, caution them, talk to them. Just talk to them. Now, this is like the University of Ghana. I don't know who understands this. This is the University of Nigeria. I don't know if you understand. Whatever the University of Ghana means to you as Ghanaian is the same thing that this university means to us as Nigerian. I don't know if you get it. I hope this will clear some people's confusion. We shouldn't speak about the issues that are happening back at home. I will speak. And to tell you the truth, so many things have changed in Nigeria lately. And all of these changes happened because of social media. All right. This same Harrison that I, you know, just display some of his, his videos is the same man that fought for the case of Afiba, the Ghanaian lady and her Nigerian friend selling to them that are still missing in Nigeria. This guy put his life out there. He risked it. Imagine that we are all, you know, all of us Nigerians want to act classy and patriotic in that manner. How is the country going to be like? Trust me by now, some people would have chewed others' life like in public. If all of us just sit down and pretend that all is well. So calm down. When I talk about my country, it is because I know where they should they pain me. Okay? I had wanted to dedicate this video to celebrate the Nigerian heroes. Yeah, I'm going to celebrate them in another video. So let's just leave this one here. Why you see some of us coming out here to talk. We talk about our country. It's not like we can act like other people who don't care. If I sit down here today and tell you, do you know that Nigeria has happened to me today? I'm, I'm acting strong because I have to be strong. My cousin was lynched to death by the street guys, area boys in Shagamu. My mom's only sister, one of her kids who lives in Shagamu in Ogu State was Lynch. I don't know if I'm correct with this pronunciation. I've told you guys that English is not my thing, really. I learned it. This guy has been brutally murdered. Guess what? My mom is not at home right now. They are looking for the dead body of my cousin as we speak right now like this second like i'm speaking to you right now i'm not supposed to sit down here and film youtube videos but because if eventually we find the body we need money to take the body home or to bury it do you understand you will never understand the pain of a nigerian for those who feel like i don't have anything good to say about my country you can't take it this can never happen this kind of thing can never happen in ghana okay fine it do happen at some point but how do the police react to it what kind of action do they take you can't survive being nigerian okay so when you see me don't judge me do not i appreciate that you guys are like my family the people like come out here to talk to it's kind of consoling to know that when you speak when you post a video there are people who watches these videos all right it's not that simple to be nigerian trust me a lot of you my amazing Ghanaians and other african countries being nigerian i'm sorry not to disrespect you but you cannot survive it it is beyond the economic hardship. I'm not talking about the economic hardship of my country. It is not easy anywhere. In Ghana here, it's not easy. 
it's not easy for me as a provider for my family is hard i mean as the breadwinner of my family is hard sometimes my electricity will run out okay before i can get money to buy my prepaid but guess what i stay in the dark in peace sometimes i don't have enough to eat but guess what i drink my gary in peace these are the issues so you guys support me and judge me less and to those of you that are do not judge me because you understand. Thank you. Okay, my videos are not to paint Nigeria a certain way because I want to achieve anything from Ghanaians. I come from a community where human, we are important, right? Like, uh, your people would rather have you around than have you gone, okay? I'm that one rebel in my family that stays out of, outside of, okay, that stays away from my family, like, Apart from my younger sister in Lagos who is married and my family kind of feel comfortable because she's with her husband. And then of course my brother, whom I don't know where he stays right now in Nigeria. I'm the only one outside of Nigeria. And my mom support me to be in Ghana because of how my mental state whenever I'm in Nigeria. And I understand why I wasn't happy. I think I choose to live at the wrong place at the wrong time. Whoever is speaking up on the internet, we are not looking for the British, Canadian, American, Ghanaian, Kenyan, South African citizenship. We are speaking about our pain, the reality. Okay, some of us are not very good in minding our businesses when others are going through something i just told you my cousin my cousin my bro my, my first cousin my mom my grandmother had only three girls and one of them died like some years ago is left with my mom and her younger sister so now my cousin bettered by my auntie my mom's younger sister is dead and they tell you say we can't find a dead body forget the makeup i'm putting on i'm supposed to be mourning i'm supposed to be crying but these days i think the older you get the stronger you become i don't want to bother you guys with all of my issues okay you see me come out here sometimes it's not that great in there but i must come out here because this is where i walk and coming to bother you guys with my struggles tears like i used to do before i don't think it's the right thing to do because we are all dealing with our issues okay so when africans or nigerians are speaking it's not because they need anything from the country they are speaking highly of some people will complain if you are in my position it's not that easy to be nigerian it's hard let me tell you a story before i end this video three months ago my best friend and i had a long conversation and do you know what happened to my community people from other parts of nigeria if i talk now there are people who come and say you are hating you are hating came to my village a poor community like mine where people could barely assess education like or health care a poor community like that people came in there and then started to trick them to collect their money defrauded them and how did they do it and get away with it they go to the local market and tell this local women oh, okay bring let me use it in cities because most of my subscribers are Ghanaians. oh bring 1000 cities then in the next four days we will give you 1500 cities i mean this is a woman who would trade for months before she can see that amount of money what do you expect she like okay ah, i get 1000 cdo that's 100,000 naira. make i bring them out use them do they so that i go get the money and unfortunately i wasn't there because if i was there it wouldn't happen i won't let them do it the worst that will come to the worst is that hmm, the community go ban me I go take them later they, when they do their investigation they go understand why i did what i did because i was going to get them arrested i won't even allow the women to participate i will spoil the business for them but i wasn't there a lot of people like me are not around so we had 
people who are good at minding their businesses so they didn't do nothing about it so these guys came got the monies from you know they did the first week they paid the women and the women were like oh wow happy men and women basically oh wow this thing worked so they brought more money some went to borrow and bring and give to these people and then they, they were waiting for them to come out now as usual to pay them they didn't know that in the night these people have quickly gathered all the monies that they could get and run away from my village a community as poor as mine if you see my people you will you will want to help because it's bad. I'm not one of those Nigerians that come here and say, I'm from a rich family. I'm from, because I'm not. All right. So that is what it means to be a Nigerian. And you see me coming out to talk about it. So the whole community, up, up to now, they are not going to recover on time because they collected a lot of money. They collected from Wanika Day, Wanokom, Wanihem, mm, where again? Wanibolo, they gathered all of this monies and ran away. Nigerians to Nigerians. Do you understand? Does that happen in your country? Will you allow it? No, you wouldn't. You won't allow it. But in my country, people do that to, other, to others. Yeah, the video is already long. So I'll catch you guys in my next one. To do.